Hello, today we are gonna to learn how to do what is called a phonology wheel. This is an example of a finished phonology wheel. I'm just gonna walk you through um, how you can get started. Um, it's something that will keep you and your children busy for the whole year. Um, and it, it's just really fun to add on to each month. Um, you add on to it and it, at the end of the year, it turns into this beautiful work of art. So um, you will see that I have a template here ready for you to print out. Just go ahead and click on the link um, under this video and you'll see You'll see where you can just download that. Um, and so all you need to do is download that. Um, if you've got smaller children, I would recommend just, just printing this out on cardstock paper, um, and then they can just draw and paint right onto that paper. Or if you wanna get a little more fancy like I have here, you can just trace it onto watercolor paper. So that's what I've done here, this is in pencil. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna get you started, um, just kind of show you how to get it set up uh, so that you are ready to add to it each month this year. So the first thing you're gonna do is just trace it in pencil. And then, as you can see, there are some different sections in the phonology wheel. So the first um, area that we're gonna focus on is just right here. And this is where we're gonna write, as you can see here, we're gonna write our months right in there. So I'm gonna start with January. You can start a phonology wheel any time of the year. I usually start mine in January and then just go through the year. But if you are seeing this in March or April, it's totally fine to uh, to start then, as long as you go throughout the whole year. I learned about this uh, from Lynn Seddon. She's the, the author of Exploring Nature with Children. And I saw it on her Instagram page years and years ago. And so I did a little bit of research and found um, some really cool examples of phonology wills um, online. And so if you haven't done that yet, Go ahead and Google phonology wheels and you'll see all kinds. There's people do, um, they do moon, they, they measure the moon, the sun, um, all different really cool things that they, that people have done with phonology wheels. So this is just a great introduction, um, but you can add to it whatever you want throughout the year. Okay, so I'm almost done writing in my months. Okay, and then once I've done my months, I'm going to add the uh, the seasons. So I know that winter starts in December and ends uh, in March, beginning of March. So I'm just going to put winter right here over my January into my February. And then I'm going to do spring. We know that that starts in March and goes April, May, and then June. Summer solstice starts mid-June. So we'll put summer over June. And then our autumn, we'll put that right over November. Okay. So we've got that all done. All right. And now I'm just going to outline everything with my black pen. You can choose to do that or just leave it in pencil. Okay. And once you have all of that in, you can just Erase your pencil lines. Okay, so I've got everything uh, written in there, all of my months and then my seasons. And now is the fun part. This is the part that um, we're gonna we're gonna do the outside here with some color, and then we're going to uh, fill in our first our first little section here. So I like to do kind of a rainbow of colors here on the outside to kind of show what colors I see during those certain. Um, those certain seasons. And so winter to me, I think of blue, I think of the blue on the snow and the blue skies. Um, so kind of a bluish color. Um, and then it kind of, it kind of graduates into a nice spring green and green kind of graduates into yellow for summer. And then yellow graduates into orange then a deep red into autumn and then kind of a purple color into, into winter. So those are the colors I chose to do. I'm just going to show you how to do that um, with your watercolors. So I'm going to start with winter just right here and I'm going to use my um, intense blue. I'll just start right where winter is. I'm just using, I think it's a number six brush, but you could use uh, any round brush for this. And I'm just going to get that nice and blue. Okay, I'm going to wash that off and get my brush totally clean. And then I'm just going to bring that right to here and then right over to here. It's nice and light. Okay. 
And then for spring, I'm doing my sap green. I'm going to start that right there in the middle. Nice and green. Then I'm going to wash my brush off. And then I'm going to let these two colors meet. I'm just going to let them run into one another. Then I'm going to go to summer. I'm going to use my cadmium yellow for that. I'll just go right over. And I'll do the same thing. I'm just going to wash off my brush and just move those colors. Let them touch each other. And then for autumn, I'm going to use my cadmium red. I'm going to just go right over that. And then just use a clean brush and let those two colors meet. And for this one, just, oops, well, we'll just add that to this part. I don't want to be that dark on the end there, so I'm just going to lift that up a little bit. And since my blue has kind of dried a little bit, I'm going to just come back in here, and get it wet with my brush. Let those two colors meet. So that gives us a nice uh, rainbow on the outside of our phenology well. Just a nice, beautiful start to that. And then I'm just going to just move things around just a little bit here. You can do that however you want. Okay, so now comes the fun part. This is where we're going to... We're going to fill in our first month. And so what we usually do is in this section, we will put uh, what we see out our window or when we're sitting out in nature. So right now I'm looking outside of my window and I see the most beautiful white trees. Uh, we have some hoarfrost all over our branches of our trees outside. And so I'm going to capture that. So I like to use a blue pencil. Um, this is by Prismacolor and it's a, an erasable blue pencil. Um, and I just like it because my, it kind of disappears after I watercolor over it. So it's just a great way to get in my picture without um, worrying too much about if I'm doing it perfectly. So I'm just going to put in a tree and the ground is snowy. And that's usually what January looks like here in Idaho. So that's what I'm going to do. And then down here, this is to signify an important event that happens in that month that has happened or ha happened in that month. So for me, I'm going to put a birthday cake because January is when my twin daughters celebrate their birthday. So I'm going to put that and I'm going to put an L and an M. That's the, the two letters of their names. So now I'm just going to come in with my black pen and I'm just going to outline everything. Just gonna get the tips of those branches. I don't want to overpower it too much. And then there's my snow. January may look completely different where you are. I know we've got a lot of people watching this that live in the Southern Hemisphere, so January does not look white for you. So just do whatever you see. And then I'm just gonna add, oh, I forgot to do this. Let me outline the birthday cake, the candles. And the L and the M. Okay. And I'm going to do a little bit of blue for the sky area here. I'll just go around those branches. And then my tree trunk is kind of a light brown. Just gonna add a little tiny bit of brown there. And then my snow, I'll just have a tiny touch of blue. Just lighten that up a little bit. And I'm gonna make their birthday cake pink. And I'm gonna make the plate. And we'll do this fun pretty and green. And I'll just do the background. Same pink. 
can be just a little lighter. Okay, so that's the first one. So then in February, I'll add something else. But that is basically how you do a phenology well. So as you can see, the one that I did here, we've got January and then February I did a plant that we see um, in February. And then March is when we start seeing our tulips peek out through the snow. And then April and May and June, we start to see things change. So that same tree, I kind of, um, kind of kept track of the same tree for each one of those seasons. So we have blossoms in April, leaves in July, and then it starts losing its leaves in October. So have some fun. This is a great thing to put. You can put it in a bullet journal. You can put it um, just in a regular nature journal, wherever you go, just have some fun with it. I hope that this is enjoyable for you and I hope you have a wonderful new year. We'll see you later. Bye.